In this Maya Quick Tip, I'm going to show you how to keep your bevels the same size across any object and across any edge. So to demonstrate this quickly, if you bevel with default settings, the size of the bevel will be adjusted based on the size of the mesh. So I have two cubes here, one larger, one smaller, and I'm just going to bevel the entire cube. So I'm just going to select that object level, hit Control B to bevel, and let's adjust my fraction at point 0.1. That's how you usually bevel. You bevel the object or usually you bevel an edge and then you adjust the fraction to determine how big that bevel should be. Now let me go ahead and do the same exact thing but on the smaller cube. So I'm going to select it, hit Control B and I'm also going to enter fraction at point 0.1. So you can see right now the size of this bevel on the larger cube is bigger and it is a lot smaller on a smaller cube and this is due to the size of each cube even though the number the fraction is the same for both so if i wanted to have the same bevel on this cube i would have to tweak this number and just find something close to it in order to match it but actually you don't have to do this there's a, another way to do this and the way you do this is you have to turn off offset as fraction and use offset to determine the bevel size so let me go ahead and undo and show you how to do this I'm going to go back to my regular cubes and I'm going to select the larger cube and I'm going to bevel. Control B. I'm going to go ahead and select it so I get access to the values for it. And instead of using the fraction to adjust the bevel value, I'm going to go to channel box. Go to the inputs, open up the poly bevel and you want to go ahead and turn off offset as fraction. Set to on and you just select it and set this to zero. So that turns it off. So this fraction value right now will no longer work because we turned it off. So I can take this and bump it up and nothing's going to happen for my bevel. So now to adjust my value, you need to change the offset inside the channel box. So right now, it's actually beveling with a value offset of 0.2. So I can change it to, let's say, 2. And of course, I can also change the segments as usual. Well, let's leave it at 1. So now my bevel amount is offset at 2. So let's do the same thing for this cube. And now if I use the same exact thing and set the offset to the same number at 2, it will be the same exact distance. Let's do control B to bevel on this cube. I'm gonna go into the channel box. Now you have to do this through the channel box. Let me select the cube so I get access to the inputs. But there's an easier way. So you could go to channel box and do exactly the same thing I did to this cube, or you could add those two entries into this floating menu every time it pops up. So right now they're not existent because they're disabled. But if you left click on this circle box with a couple of lines in there a menu will pop up and you could go ahead and enable offset as fraction and let's do the same thing for offset and let's enable that so now i have access to these two and i can go ahead and turn them off in the menu so offset as fraction i'm going to turn this off and offset i'm going to set it to two and now these two bevels on different size cubes are exactly the same and i can introduce another one another cube let's make it larger and let's say I only want to bevel one corner of this and let's make this one tiny. So if I was going to use fraction on this, the number would match up, but because we turned that off and now we use offset, it will. So let's just do this one. So I'm going to bevel, control B. Let's go ahead and turn that off and set this to two. So that's how you make your bevels across any edge, regardless the size of the mesh, exactly the same.